Hey, we're back in my redstone test world. Well, one of my 196 redstone test worlds. This one is my item filtering world, and this is where I spent all of my time developing that categorizer. As you can see, the remnants of many uh, item sorter are here. Half of them work, half of them don't work, who knows. Um, but what I'll tell you is that this is the categorizer I just published. You can check the video. Uh, the link should be on screen now, but I want to talk through exactly how it works so people can understand. And then I'm also going to talk through where I can, where it can be improved. So first thing we're going to do, we're, we'll take this one. This one looks like one that we can tear apart. So the first item here, well, let's, let's actually watch how it runs, I guess. So does this have items in it? Yes, it does. If I turn this switch on, if I look in here, you'll see a bunch of my programmed items. If I go down here, you'll see we either get one or two items coming in here. See, there was two for a split second there. There's two again, two again, two again. So that is happening because our item comes in here and then we extract one of the, the items from here. So really our input items are defining a filter and trying to pull items out of this chest. If we pull out two items, it just drops straight down and then it goes over to here. And if we watch this one, you'll see we either get one or two items in this as well. We're getting a lot of two items in a row. And maybe there's a one item. If we get two items, one of them will get sucked down here and the other one will get sent into this dropper. If we get one item, we just send it into the dropper. So this circuit here, this observer circuit does that. It's similar to what I did on my uh, multi-item sorter, but it you pulse this one once, it goes into here. You pulse this one once, it goes into uh, the chest below. And just because they're going in order, one and then two. Now we go up this item elevator and this item elevator is kind of special. We go up the item elevator and then we want to pause to see if it can go back into this chest or if it should move on to the next segment. So the way that we accomplish that is we need to lock this hopper. And I do that by hard powering this dropper. So what we have going on here is an item goes in, this comparator sees it, it powers this redstone dust, which powers this comparator, which powers this block, which triggers this, this uh, dropper, which sends the item up here. And then just a, a, a split second later, we still have this torch off, and it powers off this repeater, and then the repeater powers back on and it actually powers one, two, three uh, droppers because it's hard, hard powered and goes up into this hopper. Now, it is in this hopper at the same time that this is locked with this uh, repeater. So it gets a chance to go into this chest. And then the next item that comes in unlocks this hopper. And if the item is still in here, it gets sucked over to this overflow and goes down. So that's the bulk of this sorter. So this item elevator is a little bit weird and special, just specifically because of that hard powering that hopper to lock this, hard powering that dropper to lock this hopper. Other than that, it's just an item elevator to cycle through. So now let's go look at this circuit over here. So, um, We've got a comparator, and what this comparator normally does is when we have, I'm gonna block pick, control shift, block pick, we can go like that, and you see it's powered on. It is normally, and we're gonna grab a lamp, This is the easiest way for me to uh, show you signal strength. It's normally signal strength two. If we put one item in, it becomes signal strength three. 
But if we look at the circuit up here, we want it to turn on when it's, we only want this torch to be powered off when it's actually signal strength three. So we have to do a subtraction. So we put this in subtract mode. And then we could do it this way and grab that. And we have signal strength two out of here. This is subtracting. So signal strength two in here, two minus two is equal to zero. So zero lights light up. If I put one item in, this is now signal strength three. So if I break this, you can see signal strength three. Three minus two is equal to one, which turns on this uh, comparator, which gives us the ability to turn off a torch. So now if we go up here, we turn off this torch and that torch at the same time. And then we unpower this dust for a split a moment because this torch is off. Then a split uh, moment later, so like a tenth of a second later, we're going to power that redstone dust on. That redstone dust is locking this hopper and it allows for one item to be sucked out. After that, um, we want to then, if it did suck an item out, we want to send it down. So the way that we send it down is by unlocking this hopper. To unlock that hopper, we use a repeater and um, simply unlock it there. So this is, this is basically controlling, this side here is controlling getting two items into this hopper there. Now this is where I think this system could use an improvement. And I'm looking to any of you out there who want to make an improvement. If you do figure it out, hit me up in the Discord. I would love to see it. But I spent a bit of time and decided just to release it before I, I fix it. So here, I think this circuit works nicely. This is the two off. But if you watch, it blinks twice per time an item goes through. Each time this turns off, two items are going through, and this blinks twice. The reason for that is I couldn't fit a tileable, monostable uh, circuit in here that didn't make noise. So I wanted this order to be quiet, and I wanted it to uh, fit in too wide. This is what I could come up with in the, with those conditions. So it actually pulses twice, once when the item goes in and once when the item leaves, which means that we actually have to slow this clock down to 14 ticks rather than 12. If we had if we had a uh, a better monostable here um, that pulsed only one time, I believe we could get this down to 12 ticks or maybe even faster, but this circuit here is limiting um, the speed of the system. Because if that what happens is if we do uh, a faster clock speed, it ends up putting three items in here and then the three items um, break or it'll send uh, one, two, and then it'll dump a, a, the first of the second batch down this uh, into our overflow or into our sorted items. So. This is where I think we have room for improvement. Um, other than that, that's all that is going on in this whole circuit. It's not actually that crazy complex. Um, I didn't come up with all the ideas. I l cribbed some of them from Java, but this allowing the filter to, to drop one item through and this unlocking for two items is effectively all that there is uh, to this circuit. Anyway. That is kind of what I wanted to explain to you today. That is how this this device works. I hope that I see somebody improve it because I think there is still some room for improvement. Anyway, this is Mad Hatter and I'm out. Bye.